You're tuned to the weekend edition of the South African Morning. Now, as promised, we now look at this. The South African Traditional Music Awards will honor Solomon Kalushi Maslangu today. The Struggle Star Award will be remembered at the nominees announcement event. The special award will be presented by the founder, Dumasani Goba. Joining us in studio now is the man himself. Thank you so much for taking time Thank today you. to be with us. Thank you. I want to start with this. Uh, we're going to get to the awards in a second, but you do so much more than just present awards. You do work um, and your mission is to unite all ethnic groups and races. Talk to me about that. Well, uh, Satmas were founded in 2005 for the aim of uniting South Africans, regardless of their race or ethnicity. So our main focus is to unite South Africans using obviously our mother tongue music, uh, dance, traditional attire. I was hoping today that you are going to be wearing in your in your traditional attire. I'm sorry for letting <laughs> you down. I, I should do better <laughs> next time. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's our main uh, uh, aim as Satma Awards. Well, as part of that, we then preserve heritage. We, 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 we promote and expose uh, music throughout the world. Uh, we, we, we create links with other similar organizations from around the world. We've been around the world uh, talking to different organizations. We've, we've honored uh, Africans in diaspora. We've honored the likes of Malcolm X. Um, we've honored the likes of uh, Dr. Martin Luther King. We've honored Kwame Nkrumah, Patrice Lumumba. Uh, Harry Pelafonte, the list is endless, yeah. Now we're having the conversation even online today about the importance of honoring those who fought for our freedom, but not just the importance of honoring them, mm -hmm. but how we honor them. What's your take on honoring freedom fighters as you do regularly and specifically the manner in which we honor them? Well, I, I, think, I think it's very crucial to, to honor anyone who has done well especially freedom fighters, because they sacrifice their lives for, 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 for us. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them, they become voice of the voiceless, uh, especially during the difficult times, like during the apartheid and so on. Uh, now, it's important for all of us, different uh, civic societies and organizations, to honor such people. It, it cannot be a baby of government to do so, mm -hmm. only. I mean, government must do something. It's very crucial for them to do something. But we, as society, we need to change the status quo and say, who are our uh, heroes and heroines? And how do we celebrate them? Because we must celebrate them, not only when they are normal, but when they are still alive. Talk to me then about how you decided to this year honor Solomon Maslangu. I mean, we don't need to ask why, but the question is, why now? Well, we are approaching the 30 years of democracy next year. So our main focus for 2024 will be focusing more on how do we celebrate uh, our heroes and heroines, especially the freedom fighters. So we are starting this year in preparation for next year. So last year we honored Mama Winnie Mandela, Matigzela Mandela, we honored um, uh, uh, Professor Pigit Antuli, we honored uh, Hector Peterson. So again, it was in preparation for 2024. So we've started now, uh, and people mustn't confuse that with elections. We've got nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with freedom, with its own challenges. But the bottom line is now we are able to express our, our um, a diverse heritage, we are able to express ourselves, we are able to celebrate our identity and so on. That is important. Not only for a certain ethnic group or a certain race, across all racial spectra. So I hear you saying that we shouldn't politicize honoring our heroes. Of course, yes. Mm -hmm. Of course, yes. Well, uh, at some point I've seen, especially from the government side, um, things will be slightly politicized. In my view, we mustn't politicize uh, honoring people. We, sometimes you will honor someone who disagree with them. Mm -hmm. But for the sake of unity, for the sake of the work that they've done um, in, in contributing towards building this country, it's important for those people to, to be honored, regardless of their political affiliation, regardless of their political, uh, I mean, of their religious beliefs, 
they must be honored. Uh, talk to me about what you would like our viewers to remember today specifically about the legacy of Solomon Mahlangu. Well, Solomon Mahlangu, um, when um, he was hanged, he was a young person. Um, and as young people, it means we must change the status quo. We must do not subscribe to the apartheid did this, the apartheid didn't do this. We must now focus on how we build our country, how we celebrate our culture, heritage, and so on. And, and, and don't dwell much on what has happened and so on. Well, obviously, we mustn't forget, mm -hmm. but we must now look forward, change the status quo and say, look, we need to move forward. How do we make this country the best of the best? There's a lot to be done around heritage. It is not only about music. It is about uh, beadwork. It is about traditional gears. It is about a lot of other things. So we need to focus on how do we use that to our advantage? How do we expose our heritage to the world so that the world can receive uh, us as South Africans, not as Zulu or Kosa or Beti, but as South Africans, you know? At, at no stage we must look at this race as different to this one. We are South Africans, we are Africans at the end of the day. I love what you are saying now. Uh, I know that tonight there's going to be a lot happening. We will not just be focusing on Solomon Maslangu. Tell us about what else is going to happen. I'm imagining music, I'm imagining vibrancy <laughs> tonight. Uh, it's actually during lunch time. Mm -hmm. We are starting now um, around one-ish. Uh, we'll be announcing nominees. So what we do, we, we announce the public to suggest uh, who they would like to nominate across all um, traditional music genres. And then after that, there will be a selection process. And then after the selection process, nominees are announced to the public for the public again to participate and vote. Uh, so for more information, you can go to our social media platform, you can go to our website, uh, satmawards.co.za, and then you get more information. Uh, and then we'll be hosting the main event uh, on the 15th of December in Deben, Guazulu Natal, at Jesus Dome, and tickets are already available, so you'll have the biggest fun ever, and I invite you to be there. I'm going to be there and I'm going to negotiate with Dumasani now for those beads because you've put me on the spot. It's still Heritage Month and I think that goes very well with this. Oh, room, yes. Don't you think? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm going to leave them with you. There you have it. <laughs> um, uh, please enjoy this afternoon's event. Thank, Thank you. you so much for sharing your Thank thoughts you. with us today. That was, of course, Dumasani Goba, the founder of SATMA.